Hey guys, Canola Racing here. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on what was going on for the actual biodiesel portion of the channel. Um, we've decided to go with a centrifuge design. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, first off, this is the fuel we'll be using. Uh, I've recently acquired some cubies. I will be receiving roughly seven to ten gallons a week um, this is a corn sunflower oil uh, I don't know if people will consider that canola or if it could be considered canola but I do know those are both of the oils that are used I also have a little bit maybe a gallon of waste motor oil um, we may be playing with that, we may be not. It's available, we'll see. Um, this oil comes from a high-end restaurant, so this is not what your, your grease would be. At least when I think of grease, or when I see grease, I think about, you know, that, that thick sludge, that nasty, nasty sludge that people will suck up, and uh, this, it doesn't really look like that and from what you can see it doesn't really have a whole lot of particles in it it's pretty clear um, it's only maybe three or four days old when it's changed so I think it's a good base um, I think it'll clean up well uh, well on to the centrifuge I guess um, you know we were thinking filter bags, but when it really comes down to it, I like results that are uh, replicable and once they're established, cheap. And once you make one of these, it is cheap to filter and at a very high capacity too. So what we have for now is a stand from an AC unit that was recently removed, and it is very sturdy. It's, uh, it, it's steel or iron. Um, you're not gonna, I don't care what you do to it, you're not gonna break it. Um, we also have a General Electric random motor. I don't know where it came from. It doesn't use a ground. Uh, it's half a horsepower at 1725 RPM so we'll probably have to gear it up a little bit or put a different pulley on it but I think it's a great motor to start with um, and that is going to and I guess this is the heart of my idea is I'm going to take a hub from the rear wheel of a front wheel drive vehicle which is what this is and it you know, it's, it spins pretty freely. And what we're going to do is we're going to bolt it to this. Then, and bear with me folks, this is going to sound kind of out there, but I'm telling you, I think it's going to work. Then, we're going to space each one of these studs out by one large bolt, just as, you know, from, from the top. So each will have that much space as you go. And then we're going to take the drum section, the drum cover, and we're going to flip it upside down. So it's going to be actually on top. So now you have what will kind of look like a, um, you know when they make that cotton candy, it'd be like a cotton candy bowl. You know what a centrifuge bowl looks like. It'll look like that. And then on top of it, I'm going to weld a brake rotor from a disc brake on top of it. So what you'll have is something that spins, something that contains as far as fluid, and then on top you'll have a lip, which essentially in my mind will absolutely replicate the commercial type centrifuges that you see for this and also the um, 
bee filtering, the uh, the bee honey filtering systems. I believe it will it will totally perform comparably. Um, and a belt will go from the space on the nuts around to the pulley, and not that far. This is very rough, as you can tell, obviously. Um, but the you know the pulley will go around to the motor, and uh, it'll spin it. I believe it'll spin it. I will rough up the bolts, and all this stuff is going to get uh, sandblasted and primed and painted. Um, at Canola Racing, we like to do it right, and it will be done right. And all this will be ceramic coating. Um, I'll probably use uh, DFL1 from Techline. Uh, we will be using that at a couple different points throughout the project. Um, other than that, this is my shop. Um, it's a little bit messy, but you know, we, we try to keep it clean. We got an air compressor, some acetylene, a couple welders, um, we got a paint bay. Um, this is a 1966 MG that is very much in the way. And in the next couple of days, I will be moving it somewhere else. And this wall, ooh, pretty, will be the place where we're going to build the 6.5. Um, we'll also probably put the centrifuge here and be working on the centrifuge. Um, I have a good amount of space for work. We have a good, you know, we have some tools here. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, you should do so. I'm going to have plenty more videos soon. Um, I guess that's it. Canola Racing. One man's trash is another man's pleasure.